It's either you gon' repent Or you gon' perish Thus said the Lord Feel me? Israelites are God's chosen people, right? And they are all the other nations of the world. Follow me, right? And I'm Mighty Hebrew kings, they had felonies. They used to call my brothers felons. Now they mighty priests. He saw humble down and kissed his boot. Boy, get on your knees. Never said that anyone was called African American. He never spe specified black or Mexican or Latino. That come from as, the white man. You said, say it again, brother. Yeah, that comes. Exactly. That, that come, Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And see that, brother, in this thing, man. We got that right here, right? You see that? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, brother. So those concepts, those concepts, right? That the world gets, that that, that, that that man gets, man. And that's often the curse as well. But so do y'all got a couple a couple things for us to show y'all who y'all be according to the Bible? Because God gave us a nationality and heritage. He didn't just call us the black, the niggas. Y'all know it going on all day. So we're gonna try to show y'all, right? So y'all familiar with it. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, you can say So we're gonna show y'all, right? So what do y'all do y'all are y'all um, familiar with certain prominent figures in the Bible like Moses, Aaron? What was Moses known for? That guy he, he did what, bro? I got a little scripture tatted. Oh, word? What scripture you got tatted? Psalm 23. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. Classic. Okay. Okay. Well, pray. So, we gonna show y'all, right? So, Aaron, I mean, it's like Moses. He was the man of, of God chosen to let to free the Israelites out of that bondage or captivity they was in Egypt. Right? I kind of see him. He got an unk on his thing. Right? So, see. Right, right. So, we gonna try to go into all of that, right? But, so, nevertheless, we gonna show y'all. Let's get... Uh, Moses was that man who he split the Red Sea and brought his, the Israelites across the Red Sea. I mean, across that sea into the land that was supposed to be flowing with milk honey. Right? But ultimately, God told him to tell the Israelites two things. And keep the commandments and be above everybody, or don't and have these curses placed upon them. So now these curses, they are identifying markers to let the Lord, to, to let us know who the Lord's people are. So we're going to show you all that. Let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28, right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 28. Again, brother, what do you say? I was going to say, like... What comes before all that? That's where I want to get to. What you mean? Like before all this, Genesis, before all that. Well, well, okay, we can go into that, but the premise is God said that his people, he had a chosen people. Now you can go into it. You got Genesis chapter one, you go into Adam, I mean, uh, uh, go into the whole beginning of, but what prophet would that be for you? We're talking about Methuselah, and that wouldn't even, what would it matter for you? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make, be relatable for you. Yeah, but so I, I agree. I agree. Right. So that's why I always want to get to the before that, before that. Before okay, well, that, when you go into it, oh, real quick, real quick, I get what you're saying. That's a good point. But when you go into Genesis chapter one, right, it's going to say the Adam, you had a group of people called Adam, right? Then you had the chosen Adam, right? And then oh, from that, Adam. Well, so let's get Genesis chapter two, verse seven. Right. This is where they get that so called Aboriginal and all this. this God, this is Genesis chapter two and seven. Right. Yeah. And the Lord God formed, and, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Right. So it said God said He formed man of the dust of the ground. What does that mean? Formed man of the dust of the ground. Okay. And breathed 
into his nostrils right. the breath of life. Right now, before this, it was already man created. When you go into Genesis chapter one, verse twenty six. I don't want to go too man deep. created from who? Man created from who? God, Most High God. He created these different men and women that was on the earth. Where did the women come from? God. Real quick, bro. We're going too deep. So sometimes, I give, me, give me, give me, give me, three in verse number twenty one. Give me Sirach 3 and 21. Sometimes it's not expedient, bro. So that's why you seek out all knowledge, but it's not expedient. And you will take away the words to your brothers. I know you got the questions, but so do you think your questions is going to answer theirs? Uh, I ain't called Lara. Come on, brother. Well, I, can, I can see. I don't go into no Bibles and stuff, but that's also. Can I show you this Bible verse real quick? That's also something the I'm, white man wrote, too. So. Well, we can, we can show you that it wasn't. I understand, you know, that's something that you call in the world. So we can show you that that's a lie. But give me this book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 21. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 3, and verse 21. Right. Get out. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. The Lord said, don't seek out things that's too hard for thee. But what? Neither search the things that are above thy strength. Right above your strength, brother, trying to figure out about Methuselah and how it was made and, and, and how was the woman made. It's, 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 un, it's foolish, brother. It's going, it's going. It's it says, genetics. but what is commanded thee? Well, if you were going to legs and all that, wouldn't that be more on the science tip? So you, you would say science is more relatable. So, so is science more important? Then actual, uh, then like, so okay, like say the big bang theory. Real quick, wrong. I get what you saying. I'm talking about actual facts, genetics, like genetic, your pure genetics. Brother, I get what you're saying. You I get what you're saying. A white man, he don't have the same genetics as you because your genetics that, is 100 well, percent pure. I get what you're saying, brother. Than his is a D animal. DNA. Real quick, keep going on this. It's all right. Uh, it says, what but what is commanded thee? Think thereupon with reverence. Right? So look, the Lord said, what's commanded of you to think there with reverence. So you want to seek out all the damn infinite, infinite knowledge. The damn DNA, you know, it's unprofitable to you because you still, at the end of the day, don't know who you are. So who are you? Who are you then? What do it mean to be spirit? Spirit, electricity. Okay, let's get there. Let's get Romans. All right, Romans 7 and 14. We're going to show you what it means. This is the book of Romans. It's not an argument, bro. We literally just want to teach our brothers. It's not an argument. This is the book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. So look, the Lord said to be spiritual, you got to be keeping the law. And that's why when you go back to Sirach 3 and 21 and 22, he says that the law is the thing you got to seek out to be able to understand who you are, brother. And that's that's the true meaning of all things. Not just being and like that, look. All of that is is is, is, is worshiping man. Because God's that the Lord. Yes, it is. It's Egyptian. Because that's what the man. Okay, where do, it, where do it stem from? This stands for divine masculine the, energy. This okay, and what's that? The, and what this, and this stands for the womb of the woman. What, what, how can you prove that? This stands for the womb of the How can you prove that? How can you not prove it? But the, the Lord said. I know you can't ask a question on a question. So when you go in first Thessalonians the 5 21, the Lord said we gotta prove all things. So all the things that we're gonna speak to you, we're gonna prove it. But you just told us that. How can we know that that's true? If you was to teach that to somebody, how would you I'm show that that's teacher. true? But I'm saying, I if you want to, okay, you said that you, that's who you are. So how would you teach the next person who they are? You would just tell them this means the womb of the woman. And this, that, how would you teach that to them? How would you make it make sense? I'll tell them to do the research. That doesn't make sense, brother. That's tell confusion. Them to do the research. From the, from the white man that you said that he created all things, he created that, brother. He didn't create this. Brother, it's, it's called worship of... You said what? Now the cross, you can say he created that, but this comes before. Give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And give me verse number 37. I mean, uh, it's like a 36. Hey, I got a slug up there. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse number 36. Right. This, this the where you got Lord, that from, brother. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee right. unto a nation right. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Right. And there shalt thou serve other gods. And there shalt, we and there shalt thou serve other right. gods. Right. Wood and stone. Yeah, so we said we were going to come here and serve other gods, man. The brother don't know what he's talking about, man. He's talking about divine energy and this comes from the woman and the it's electricity. And he took the way away, the word away from his brothers, man. His brothers trying to hear, man. And that's the bug out of the group, man. It's always, you know, he may be another key man, but I ain't gonna hold it. Uh, he said they are ab Aboriginal, right? The word Aboriginal comes from the Latin words "ab" and the uh, or origo, and it has been used in English language since at least the 16th century. So the what? 16th century. That's mad. That's, that's so that's in the very beginning, huh? Yeah. It's just ridiculous. It's like they brought the mirror side. Bro, do you believe in the Bible? Mirror side, brother. Habisha. Just smiling, just looking. Right? All praises, man. They took away the word from the brothers, man. Right? How y'all do today, family? Y'all got a minute of words of God?
They got to do with their family. You already know what they do. Never know, though. You know, I could be wrong. How y'all doing with their family? Y'all got to meet here once you got? Y'all believe in the Bible? Okay, y'all got to repent. You got to come Right, y'all? Maybe Israel. Maybe. Never know, man. And when the word is so, man, everything is damn heathen. All we got to take away the word, man. Smoking damn crack. Smoking the white man weed, man. God. He kind of shifted it in the egg and scientifically made it to be potent, man. Right? What they say back then, y'all weed a little different from back then, man. See that? That's evil. How y'all doing today, family? Y'all got me in the words of God? Can we, can we get y'all a Bible verse for the day? Is that again? Oh, y'all got me for the Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse number 11. Yeah. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles right. shall there be a visitation, because in the creature of God right. they are become an abomination. Come on, what? They, they are, are become an abomination. Uh, holy in, 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 in the eyes of the Lord. They yeah. are become an abomination. Yeah and stumbling blocks to the souls of men, and they stared to the feet of the unwise. For the devising of idols was beginning a spiritual fornication, and the invention of them, the corruption of life. Yeah, the corruption of life, man. And now the brother said he's spiritual, and now he's spiritual from the folly and the idols, man. But the whole time God said, you gotta you spiritual if you're keeping the laws and the commandments of God, man. Right? right? So it's just confusion, man. A separation devising of this evil. He said that's the spiritual fornication, man. Right? Yeah, come on, brother. God, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 96 and verse 5. Right For all the gods of the nations are idols. One more time. About. For all, all the gods, gods of the nations are idols. Are they one with God and he, he, he approve of them. For all, all the, the gods, gods of the nations are idols. But Yahweh, who? But Yahweh. Uh, but uh, but uh, Buddha. But Yahweh made the heavens. Hey, man, the Lord made the heavens. Man. They don't give the Lord the respect that's due, man. It's every other God just equal with the most high God. It's just confusion, man. Give me Isaiah 43 and 10, man. It's one of my favorite precepts, man. All right? Isaiah 43 and 10. How you doing today, sis? You got him in there, words of God? Can we give you a Bible verse? No, thanks. All right, you got to repent. You got to command. You may be an Israelite. John, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 10. Ye are my witnesses, said the Lord, right. and my servant, whom I have chosen, right. that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no God for. One more time. Before me, there was no God for. Neither shall be after me. It's not going to be a God after the Lord. He the one who created all things, man. Teach they just give credit to all these damn idols, man. The hunk. That nasty hunk. Uh, Allah, uh, what they say? Uh, what they say? Hey, arm, arm, leg, head. It's just folly, man. That's what they say Allah means, man. Right? Arm, leg, <laughs> leg. And what they say is just stupid, yeah, man. God. Just make up anything to make them feel good, man. Just a feel good doctor, man. That's all. They say arm, yeah. leg, 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 arm, and head. A lot. A lot. That's, <laughs> a, that's ridiculous, man. man. Is, uh, I heard that a thousand times over. Yeah, that dude at Walmart. Said, well, yeah. yeah. He got everything but the body, man. Yeah. So the legs and the arms attached to just, right. just air. Just stupid, man. Right? Yeah, but the Lord, the most high God, is the only God, man. Right? Give me the book of... uh. Uh, Psalm, right? Chapter uh, 78. Yeah, yeah. And I'm uh, from the top. That's ridiculous, man. Our people want to be meddling with every other thing but what Yahweh said. But what Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shah said. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 1. Right. Oh. Give ear, O oh my people, right. to my law. Right. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Well, uh, incline well, your I, ears to the words of my mouth. We tell our people, man, incline their ears to the words of my mouth. No, this is a white man book. I can't even listen to that. You hear that so many times. It's, it's getting old, man. It's real old now, man. The white man wrote that book. Then you ask him, okay, how would you explain your doctrine to us? I just tell him, just seek it out and go. It's stupid, man. You can't, you can't, you gotta find a, I mean, you can't stand on that. So if you was to teach it to me, you would just be winging it, man. Just pulling the, uh, out of your notebook in your back pocket spirit, man. Nah, Keep going. Nah, nah. It says, I will open my mouth in a parable. Right. I hey, will. Brother, you got me in the of God? Hold on, amigo. Where's up? Yeah, what? Come here, brother. Hey, brother, you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Uh, yeah. Okay, so what you, so what'd you say your nationality is? What's your race? Hispanic. Hispanic? Okay. So can I find a word Hispanic in the Bible? Sure. I can? He said Talk. sure. So the question is, would I be able to find the word Hispanic in the Bible? No. No, right? So that's why we asked. So what would be your nationality according to the Bible then, bro? Hebrew. Okay, yeah, you're on the right track. Where you get Hebrew? Why, why you say Hebrew? What, what, what came to mind with that? Uh, I guess uh, Jesus was Jewish, right? Hebrew? He was a Jew, a Hebrew. Hebrew. Yeah, okay. 
That's right. Okay, okay. That's good. So, if you was to go into it, we'll tell you right now, brother. You would be a Hebrew Israelite. Because Hebrew is vague. You got Hebrew Edomites, Hebrew Moabites, right? But when you go into it, we would be the Hebrew Israelites. I know you're on your run. You kind of, you know, having getting your, your workout in. But uh, you will be an Israelite, brother. And you got time for us to show you that? Or are you kind of busy? Okay, I'm going to praise you the So, we're going to get right into it a little bit, right? You will be an Israelite according to you because God gave Moses these different uh, statues uh, to give to us. He said that the only way that we were going to know who we are is basically by these curses. Right now, there's other ways the whole Bible is for us, but nevertheless, these curses are identified markers unto us to let us know who we are. Now, do you know anything about your history? What happened to your people? Did your people go into like slavery, bondage, captivity? Yeah, Under who? Under what man? Or what? Or, or, or woman? Colonizers. So, yeah, colonizers. Okay. Do you know that I could read that, that that was going to be a prophecy against your people for not keeping God's commandments. Let's read that for the book. Right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. You know? Like it. Let's read uh, verse uh, 49. Con, this is Deuteronomy 28, and verse 49. You know? Read you exactly what you said. Y'all got colonized, came, or people came and came and colonized y'all, right? Read this out. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, right? From the end of the earth, right? From the end of the earth, as swift as. Can you read that one more time? From the end, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, right. from the end of the earth, right. as swift as the eagle flies. So God said that he was going to come and bring a nation against y'all from far, right? And there's, those was the colonists, like you said, the Spaniards and all these different, they was the ones who was conquering our people, man, right? Christopher Columbus, you familiar with that name? Christopher Columbus? Okay, come on, keep going. A nation whose tongue Thou shalt not understand. It's like when you go on tour, do you think that your native term for the tongue from the very beginning of your native language was just Spanish? Philippines. That's why it says when they came and come and conquered our people, he said that they y'all didn't understand their tongue or their language. Right? We were speaking the Hebrew, different dialects of the Hebrew. So when the Span the Spaniards came, they gave y'all that. That's why I said Spanish. The hell is Spanish, man? Yeah, see that property in Spain, man. Y'all property in Spain. And y'all probably are, your, are the most high God, man, but we're going to keep going on this, right? A nation of fierce countenance, right. which shall not regard the person of old, right. nor should favor to the young. You see that? So you know what that's saying? Did you understand what that said? He said the a people of fierce countenance, they wasn't going to have mercy on the old people or the young. And that's what they was doing. When they came out of it, they was raping and robbing and taking y'all people as captives, right? Would you agree with that? Right. All right, keep going on this one. You got five minutes? Gone. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle right. and the fruit of thy land right. until thou be destroyed. Until what? You until until thou be destroyed. So that, you know, be all, these are things that got, these are curses that Moses was telling the Israelites was going to happen to them if they didn't keep God's commandments. Would you say that that sounds like something that happened to your people that we just read? That's right, brother. So now this is Moses speaking to the Israelites. Now you you will be an Israelite, brother, because that only happened to the Israelites. Not as much more we can show you, but you know I know you're kind of busy. You on your hiking tip, but nevertheless you will be an Israelite, brother. Now obviously you will want to study and look into it more yourself, right? That's yeah, uh, you know, these are more noble than that's like it that they search out the scriptures yeah, with all word of readiness of mind. It's, yeah. it's proved whether those things were so, perfectly paraphrased. So, brother, you would be an Israelite, so you cannot call yourself Hispanic, Latino, Mexican. Those terms are old, man. That's a curse. Give me Deuteronomy, I mean, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 37. That's uh, a curse, brother. Don't call yourself that. This is Deuteronomy 28 and verse 37. Right. No. And thou shalt become an astonishment, right. a proverb, right. and a byword. You know what? And, and a byword. What's a byword? Better calling yourself anything outside what God called you. Now we call ourselves Mexican, uh, Mexican, Latino X, all these different new terms that God never gave us. Why are nationality always changing? But the white man just white. But the Chinese man just Chinese. Why is that? But God said these are gonna be curses placed upon his chosen the Israelites for not keeping his commandments. Right? So do you, do you know any commandments, brother? Uh not, uh kill. Yeah, okay, that's a good one. Yeah. Right, what else? You know any other ones? Yeah, that's money. Yeah, okay, out of your mother, father, can we give you, can we give you a couple that, that you may not know or you may know? Let's get uh, Leviticus 11, right? So let's get Saturday for Exodus. This is Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Right. Remember the Sabbath day. You never heard of the Sabbath day? What's, what day is the Sabbath day? Uh, Saturday. 
Okay, I'll pray some more Sabbath. No. Remember the Sabbath day right. to keep it holy. Right. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. For what? But the seventh day, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. See, that's like, that's right, brother. So the seventh day would be Friday, Sunday, and Saturday, Sunday. Take it to Saturday, right? Because the Lord said that the day starts at Sunday, right? That's what did take the day, right? So uh, keep going on this. In it thou shalt not do any work. So this is our stipulation of what you can do on the Sabbath. He said, don't do no no work, no servile work, right? Damn right. Thou nor thy son nor thy daughter. So basically, you don't supposed to do no work on this day, right? Or doing your own pleasures, right? When you read that in the book of Isaiah 58, what's going on? For in six days right. the Lord made heaven and earth, right. the sea and all that in them is, and, what? and rested the seventh day. That overtime was double pay. And rested, rested the, the seventh day. day. So God said on that seventh day, the Sabbath, which is today, and rest. Right? That don't mean just sleep in the bed all day and uh, the Sabbath day, or you just in the bed. You just don't want to be doing your own pleasure. You come out here, you got a family, you know. I mean, go to the park or something, you know, but you don't want to be buying or selling. Let's have uh, Nehemiah 10. Let's get that Nehemiah. Uh -huh. It's the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, and verse 31. Right, and if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day, what day? On the Sabbath, Sabbath day. day. What's today again, brother? Okay, and what, the Sabbath day is the Sabbath. Now we're going to read this again. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day, what day? On the Sabbath, Sabbath day, day to sell. That we would not buy it of them. On pizza over there, they got that pizza and that chicken smelling good. <laughs> that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. Nevertheless, God also told us that on the Sabbath day, we got six days to get everything we need. So that seven days, no buying us up. Because you had six days to get those things prior to the Sabbath day. Does that make sense? Okay, I'll pray. So let's get let's get Leviticus 11. Uh, let's do a couple more. We ain't holding you hot. We just want you to know you're an Israelite. This is what God requires. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse 8, right, 7. Go. And the swine. What? And the swine. Sister, you know what a swine is? A pig. A pig. Okay, go. we'll see what the Lord said. It's probably pig. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, right. yet he cheweth not the cud. He what? Yet he cheweth not, not the cud. What he's doing is, he just explained to us about the pig. He said it has to have three attributes to be considered a clean beast. But the pig only has two because it doesn't chew the cud, meaning it doesn't properly digest its food. So let's see what the Lord said about it. He is unclean to you. Is what? He is unclean to you. What does that mean if something is unclean, family? You should eat it. You should eat it, right? Go. So God said that the pig, is, is, it doesn't properly digest its food, though it has two other attributes that's clean. That's what making it an unclean beast. It says, of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. I had to tell us one more time. They are unclean. So God. people tell us that pork, carnitas, all the bacon, the all these things are good for us. But ultimately, the Lord put the pig on our skins. You didn't hear about waste management and the public service in the ancient world. Just had the pig. Come go chow it, whatever. So that was the purpose of the pig being on the earth. Right here. Verse 9, these shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever hath fins and scales. So I got a question, family. God said, these shall ye eat that all that's in the water. He says, whatsoever hath fins and scales. What is that referring to? He says, has to have fins and scales. You got to be able to swim. Right. So what's, what's a creature in the water that has fins and scales? There you go. That's it, though, right? Yeah, there you go. Got the, what's some things that our people love in the water that doesn't have fins and scales? Yo, 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 lobster. What's some things that our people like to eat that's, uh, that doesn't have fins and scales in the water? Crab, lobster, shrimp, uh, oysters. So all these different things, but that's why God he loved us so much that he gave us a dietary though. He told us what we can and can't eat. All right, give me the uh, last verse. Come on, uh, verse 10. Leviticus 11 and right. Uh, verse 47, right. to make a difference. So the Lord gave us the dietary law to do what? To make a difference between the unclean and the clean. Right. And between the beast that may be eaten, what? that may be eaten, and the beast that may not be eaten. That's all our food, our beast. It's beast that the Lord said we cannot eat. Prior to what all these different people in this world say today. 
right? So I just wanted to show them, show y'all that that God said that it's a certain thing that we have to eat as as to eat. Right? Let's get Numbers chapter fifteen, right? Huh. This is Numbers chapter oh, fifteen and verse thirty-eight. Right. Yep. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel right. and bid them that they make them fringes. That they make them what? That, that they, they make, make them fringes. fringes. I got a question, family. What do I think fringes? What's something that all of us got on that just looks familiar? If, if, we, if we speak in clothing wise. Uh, I thought you, you said shoes. Yeah, okay, shoes. Yeah. Remember I told you earlier? Yeah, this is the friends. Oh, okay. You see that, brother? This is where our friends are. We're going to see why we're wearing this. You see all the brothers got a part. But we're going to see what's the part of us wearing this. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. So you said what? Throughout their generations. We're going to that. That's just because we know we're still generating. You know, I just had, I got it, my wife pregnant right now. You know, so we're still generating the spirit. Right. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. What? A ribbon of blue. It was a royal color. You know what? And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it. That you may what? That you may look upon it. I haven't touched it. That you may look upon it. Israelites around our way. That you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. What? And do them. So God said these fringes are literally that physical reminder for us to remember the commandments of God and do them. Like what's what's a commandment that y'all learned today? That God said that we can't do or that we can't do. What about the things we can eat? What do we eat? What did you learn about that we eat today, sis? Do not eat on clean. Okay. What's, what's, a, what's a specific animal that God said we can't eat? There you go. What about, what's an animal that, that you learned today that God said that we can't eat? What about when I come out the water? Can I eat shrimp? I like, I mean, you know, put in that, in that, that what's that called? The boy? <laughs> uh, yeah. What about that? Can we eat those? <laughs> the crab legs? Yeah. Okay, what? Camarones a la plancha. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, remember, God said that if we, for us to be able to eat it, it has to have fins and scales if it's in the water. So if it doesn't have fins and scales, we can't eat it. Like sharks. They got fins, but they don't have scales. So we can't eat sharks. No, they, they call that exotic food in some countries, man. Yeah. You know, extreme uh, game, what's, gamey food or something. But nevertheless, end all be all, as God said, that we cannot eat things that come out of water that doesn't have fringes scales, or we can't eat the beer. Right? You gotta wear fringes. What's the name again? Saturday, Sabbath day. There you go. Okay, all right. It's just on fire, Saturday. man. Right. Y'all got any questions? Any questions? Okay, come on. You got any questions, brother? All right, we got one more question. All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Right. Get up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, sis, what do you think that's going to do? Now, this is a commandment that God gave uh, to us as well. He said, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do you think that refers to? What is that called? You had to explain that to somebody. He said, the woman, let's read it one more time. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. That's what I'm not sure. Say it again, sir. I'm not sure. So, okay, my simple as answer. How you know the difference between a man and a woman Bible? Uh, oh, dress? Like they put a dress on. So, do the man got the, do the, the man sign got the dress on? No. Or got the pants, right? Or some people say, one person said, they have the other thing. You know? So, but nevertheless, God said that a woman should not wear that with pants turned into a man. So he's referring to like pants. Because of the fact that women, uh, they should be, you know, back then they wore dresses, right? Uh, you know, long, they had to be the damn granny dress, like even when they was in, in, uh, picking the cotton. See, grandma in the dress. Grandma was bought in cargo shorts, the cargo pants, picking cotton, right? And also, it's you know, for women, they need to be able to breathe as well. You know, if you got ears and hair, right? So God, that's a commandment that Gloria, but it's also a, a second hint to that. Let's finish that up. It says, neither shall a man, shall what? Neither, neither shall, shall a man put on a woman's, woman's garment. garment. Right? See that? So God said, hey, a woman cannot wear men's clothes, or a man cannot wear women's clothes. Just imagine if all of us had dresses on. We had the tutu, and this brother had the in his yeah. head. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be confusing? Teaching the Bible. 
Now we know this world may promote that, but God does not agree with that. Because if that's the case, why would he tell us the man can't wear a dress? Right, you right. would have said, oh, no, man, y'all do what y'all want. So if that makes sense, that make, I know you, you know, you're a man, but what would it, no dresses for men? This is First Timothy, First Timothy chapter two and nine. In like manner also that women adore themselves in modest apparel. What apparel? In modest apparel, uh, tight booty shorts and and Lord knows what. In modest apparel. What do modest mean, sis? Like, Say it again. Demir, not Demir. Demir, yeah, Demir. What the hell is this? Demir. I was seeing that. Demir. It's like uh, shy, modest. Yeah, right, right. Classic. You want to be like. Uh, Demir. It's a yeah, trend, yeah. Said, it's a trend, right? I see that. Somebody yeah. said it. How you say yeah, it? Demir? Yeah. Demir, yeah. Demir, yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> You, very mindful. That's that TikTok spirit, hey, man. very mindful. Right, you right. said what? You gotta be very mindful, very yeah, demure. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, so you just wanna be modest. You know, you don't wanna have the tight clothing, uh, booty shorts, and you know all the things that have a man to lust after yeah. because that's causing our brothers to go to the BNC. Now they're not really trying to know who you are. They just wanna <laughs> see who that is. You know, you guys see this. So. Okay, you got the definition. Definition of demure, reserved, modest, and shy, typically used of a woman. It says of clothing, giving a modest appearance. Demure. I heard somebody say one time, girl, show that cleavage. You better let them know. That's evil. Yeah. So that's what that's what the Lord is referring to our women as being modest, with shame faces. Right. And then he also made a thing, not with boy in here, just being, just trying to get attention. Right, right. So that's all I just wanted to say. I just want to say, uh, my wife and my two daughters, they wear dresses because we're trying to come back to keeping God's commandments. And that's one of God's commandments that our women have to dress modest that's right. and the way they're supposed to dress. Right, right. Yeah. So if that gives you any, like, admonition, you know. Right. So it ain't got to be, uh, you know, some people think it got to be the big, the big granny dresses just to be light. So tight that you can't be damn near walking like this. You don't want to have it like that. So if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I'll pray some more. Y'all got any questions? You got any questions, brother? Alright, well, what the Lord call? Alright. Right. Right. So we gotta come back to keeping all laws. Remember, because this is giving us give me the Romans chapter 33 and verse 4. This is given to us, man. We gotta embrace this, man. God, right, we embrace God. the world and Christmas and all these things that God said don't do. How much more the things they said to us? This is Deuteronomy chapter 33 and 4. Right. You know, Moses commanded us a law, right. even the inheritance of religion, even the inheritance right. of the congregation of Jacob. Yeah. So this is our inheritance, man. We gotta Take that with right to the Lord. Right? So come back to who we really are, man. Ask the Israelites. That's right. Right? So y'all got any questions? Y'all welcome to stay or you know, whatever the have a question maybe. But he got real Israelite, brother. Mexican and all these byword, those not things that the Lord called. Right. I can't find the word Mexican in the Bible. You can find the word black in there, but it's not speaking if you relate to it from uh ethnicity of people. You know? So, so all pretty. So uh, let's get one more push up. Let's get Genesis 49. That's right. This is what the Lord commanded us. Well, now let's get Zephaniah. That's right. Let's get Zephaniah. This is one more verse for y'all, man. Zephaniah 2. You ever got it? This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. Come out here and come and tell our people to come back to who they are. And let them know that hey, we need to know we got to do what God said. Gather yourselves together. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. Oh, nation, not desire. I said, we the nation that's not desire. Then our people always get good down in this room. Right? A laughing, stocking with me, a shaking of the head amongst the nation. So that's why we got to come back as one, man. Stop killing each other, being jealous, and hate having this hatred toward each other, man. It is wise, man. We got to embrace it, man. You going to uh, it says, before the decree bring forth, right. before the day passes the chap, right. before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Right. That's plain. Right? So before all these things happen, we just got to come back to New York. Since you got, you got a minute to hear words of God? Right? So that's all we do. We don't force, of course, we just ask you, do y'all got a minute to hear words of God? Hey, on to the next one. 
I got a question. What would you guys say you guys are in this world? Like, what does this world call you? Like, Mexican, like in the What you guys say is, what the world call you? So let uh, our friends, man, so the family know they Israelites. You got any questions, brother? Anything? Okay, all friends, what's up, well, brother? You welcome to stay. If not, we'll continue with the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Can we give you? Do you speak? Do you speak Spanish better or more English? Oh, can we give you a flyer? Yeah. You got a YouTube on there, a phone number. Hey, come gather with us, brother. Right, right. Gather, man, before the, the decree bring forth, man. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll okay, so, I'll the whole side. So, we'll give you a fly to the whole side. That's what we're going on. We need the book of John, man. Right? Look at John, chapter, uh, what's that, 15 and 10. All right? This is what happened right now, family. We're going to give y'all one more precept. Verse number 10, if he keep my commandments. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say that. Yeah, 15. Yeah, 15. It's the book of Luke, chapter 15 and verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you. We're going to read this. This is what's happening right now, family. Likewise, I say unto you. There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner. What? Over one sinner that repented. Okay, sis. You be safe out here, sis. All right. I would say we got a Bible for you if you need it, sis. Okay, all our praises. I don't know. I didn't even see that, sis. Brother, for the sister, I can move.